Now I thought today I would make up some kebabs. Now the kebabs I'm going to be making are Sikh kebabs. So they're like an Indian style kebab. Now I'm going to be using lamb mince, but there's no reason you couldn't use pork mince, beef mince, or even chicken mince. Now I'm also going to be serving mine up with a quick to make mint sauce, a little bit of salad, and probably some pizza bread as well. So it all comes together and makes something scrummy. So let's go through the ingredients. So just to go through the ingredients for making the kebabs, now I've got my spice mix all measured out and I'm gonna be using teaspoon measurements. That's a small spoon. Now what I've got is four teaspoons of garam masala, half a teaspoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of ground coriander, two teaspoons of ground cumin, and three teaspoons of salt. So that's all the sort of spice mix. Now, this lot here is all gonna go in the blender to keep it nice and simple. And what I've got is eight cloves of garlic, four green chilies, a good sized piece of fresh ginger. I would say enough that you could get four or five teaspoons of you know fresh ginger when it's all sort of chopped up. One green bell pepper, two medium sized onions, and put that in the blender, whiz it all up and then that's your mixture to go in with your mince. Now with the mince I've got one kilogram of lamb mince. Now one kilogram is about 2.2 pounds in weight so I'm using lamb mince but if you can't get that you could use pork mince or you could use beef mince or you could use chicken mince. It's entirely up to you but I find lamb mince works really well. Now I've also got a bunch of fresh coriander and a bunch of fresh mint. Pick the leaves off, chop it up nice and fine, and that will go in with the sort of mixture of mints. Now what I'm gonna do next is get me blender, and I'm just gonna start blending up all these sort of vegetables, you know, ingredients here. So I've got me blender, and in this bowl, I've got all that stuff that we're gonna blend up, the onions and garlic and everything else. So let's pop that in the blender. Now, hopefully it'll all fit in one go if not you know you've got a small blender like mine then you might have to do it in two we'll see how we go now what i did i just very quickly roughly chopped some of this stuff just to help it along its way i think what i'll do is start blending that down and then i'll see if i can squeeze the rest of it in there i think that'll do us look at that beautiful so what we can do is to put that in with the lamb mixture that's it Got the last of that out. Now, next of all, I'm gonna put in the lamb mince. And then we've got all those spices and the salt. So just get that in there. And then I've got the chopped up coriander. I ended up keeping the stalks of the coriander because you do get a flavor out of that. But I just took the, the leaves off the mint. So there you go, we've got a full bowl there. Be careful, but I'm just gonna use my hands and gently get it all mixed up together. Now I'm just bringing this together. Now if you find that your mixture is a little bit sort of watery because you get quite a lot of, you know, the juices coming out of the onions, what you could do is you could add maybe a little bit of breadcrumbs. I'm gonna use just a little bit of this corn flour. It's like a thickening agent. So just gonna sprinkle some of that in there. Like that. And again, just carry on. And that will just help to absorb a little bit of the liquid because that will then help the kebabs to stay on the skewers when you're cooking them. So I've just about brought that all together and that little bit of corn flour added, just, you know, soaked up a little bit of that water. So that is all mixed up, ready to go. Now you can either put it straight on your skewers, cook it on your barbecue or in the oven, or if you wanted to, you could leave it in the fridge, wrap it up, leave it in the fridge for a few hours just to let those flavors develop. Now I'm actually gonna cook mine up now. So I'm gonna get me skewers and start putting it on the skewers, ready to cook. So now I've got the oven switched on, I'm gonna start making up these kebabs. Now I've got these metal skewers. You could use the bamboo ones. If you're gonna use the wooden bamboo ones, you wanna soak them for a little bit first so they don't burn up in the oven. But I'm just gonna grab my mixture and you know, kind of like sausage size, feed it all the way along and just make up these kebabs. So just kind of grab it. And once you get it on there, we can lay them on the wire rack. So I'll carry on and do that. Now what I've done is I've made up four of those kebabs. Now with these metal skewers, the ones I was using, they've got like a 
they're just round all the way along. I think I might treat myself next time and buy some of the ones that are like flat rectangular ones because I think it will make the mixture easier to sort of mould round it. But anyway, you've got to use what you've got. I've got the round ones today. So there's the four kebabs I'm going to cook up initially. I'm just waiting for the oven to come up to temperature, get it nice and hot, and then I'm going to place those in the oven, get them cooking. Now what I might as well do is while we're waiting for that to heat up, I'm going to show you how to quickly make up a really nice mint sauce to go with it. Now I've already done a separate video for that, so you can go and watch that if you want, but I'm just going to quickly do it now because I've got all the ingredients ready to put in the bowl, mix up, and then you've got your mint sauce. So move that aside, make up the mint sauce, and then I'm going to place those in the oven. So for making this mint sauce yogurt, which is going to go with the kebabs, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to use for that. Now I'm going to use 150 grams of natural yogurt, a little squeeze of lime juice, then I've got half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of caster sugar, a quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of garam masala, and finally I've got this mint sauce which comes out of a jar, that's the sort of one you would use to go with your lamb once it's cooked. I'm going to use two and a half teaspoons of that. So what I'm going to do is get myself a bowl, put it all in a bowl, mix it up and there you go, you've got it all ready to go. So I'm just going to start with the natural yoghurt. It's just slightly over 150 ml in this one, it's about 170 but you know, I'll well use it up. Then I've got the mint sauce. I mean that's just like vinegar and it's got mint, fresh mint, a little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt in there. And also I've got these spices, so let's just get that in. And a little squeeze of the lime juice. Like that. And what you want to do is just quickly mix it up. and then give it a quick taste to see how that is. Nice. I'm just going to put a little bit more of that lime juice in there. So that'll do us. Different spoon, I'm going to mix it up again. And that is then ready to serve up with these kebabs. Lovely. Mmm. Absolutely lovely. And so simple. So I've got that mint sauce yogurt that's going to go with the kebabs, looking good. Now I've just checked the oven temperature and it's come right up to temperature, so I'm going to place mine kebabs in the oven. So I'm going to place those in the oven. Now I'm going to place them in the top of the oven, the hottest part. So oven's on maximum, hottest part, right at the top. And I would say you want to cook those probably for about 12, maybe 15 minutes. Obviously, you know, if you're doing it on the barbecue, keep an eye on them, make sure you're not burning them, but make sure they're cooked throughout. So you can always check them before you serve them up. Now I've had my lamb kebabs cooking for exactly 15 minutes, in fact. I gave them on the slightly longer time because they are quite thick, the ones I've got. So I'm going to pull those out. They smell absolutely wonderful. Look at those. Oh, that's good. Let's put those on the table and we're going to try one. Now obviously it's up to you how you serve yours up. I mean I've got a little bit of, you know, sort of green salad with a little bit of onion and you can squeeze some lemon juice over there little bit of tomato, serve them up on a plate, cut them in half and that could be a really nice starter or obviously you could put them in a bit of pita bread, put your salad in there and make up you know kebab so that's what I'm going to do because that's what I fancy today so I'm going to get me pita bread, fill it with some of that salad, now before I do that I do just want to squeeze some lemon juice and I'm going to put a little bit of salt on this salad as well. So, lemon juice, nothing more apart from a little bit of salt. And then you've got a wonderful salad, so grab some salt. Oh yeah. Now I'm just going to move that back. 
there you go. Got me a uh, pit of bread there. Gonna fill it with some of that wonderful salad. Give it a quick mix. Put that inside like that. Oh, that's good. Mmm, lovely. Now, with these kebabs, because they are quite big, I think I'm going to cut mine in half. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. I'll leave that a little bit. I think I've got enough in there. And don't forget, we've got this yogurt mint sauce. So we need some of that on there. Just to get the beautiful flavours. Hmm. Now let's close that up carefully if I can. And I'm gonna pick it up. It's a big lump. And I am gonna try some of this. Oh. Oh, let me try. Hmm. Mm. Oh. That is absolutely lovely. The lamb kebabs, nice and spicy. And the yogurt mint sauce really cools you down. That is absolutely gorgeous. Let me have a bit more. Mm. Mm. Make that yogurt mint sauce of it. It just goes so, so well. It's just oh, mm, so good. Mm. Go and make these. Nice and simple. Great for the barbecue. Otherwise, do them in the oven like me. Remember, they are a bit spicy, which is good because I like a bit of spice. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Thanks for watching my videos. And I appreciate you all, whether you're a subscriber or not, but do subscribe if you like what I do. Don't forget the ratings and leave those comments because I always try and read every one. See you soon, the original Naked Chef.